stations are tuned in to. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Today's show is sponsored by Dr. Jack. Take charge of your life personally, financially, and professionally. Visit drjacqueline.com to book an appointment today. Hello and welcome to Wrapping with Dr. Jacqueline live here on Business Talk Radio, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and LinkedIn. It's all about dating. I am so excited for this show. I am your host and executive producer. I'm certified coach, also certified yoga and meditation instructor. With me today is my co-host, Lisa Maniocchi. Welcome, Lisa. Hey, how are you? Great, thanks, how are you? Good, 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 here we go again, huh? Yes, yes, Lisa <laughs> is the founder of Presence Intelligence. And you wanna just tell us quickly what that is that you do? Yeah, that's that's the uh, the ability to, re- to align whoever you are on the inside and the best parts of them with what you project on the outside. Because when there's a discrepancy between the two, you'll feel it and so will everybody else. Yeah, people know, don't they, when you're portraying one, you're one side in business and you're one side in personal. Absolutely, instantly too. Instantly, and you know, that actually comes through a lot when uh, we get into a dating situation, right? We might pretend to be one way when we're really another. Yeah, and some of that's attributed to nerves, however, um, this one colleague of mine would say, yeah, you might as well show up as who you are because the real you will show up anyway, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Get it out on the table right away instead of hiding whatever it is because you want somebody to like you for the authentic you, not for some made up you. Yeah, because of who you are, not in spite of it, you know. Exactly. So let's talk. We're both single, right? We've been through yep. a lot of guys. Well, I don't yep. want to say you've been through a lot of guys. I've been through a lot of guys. Plenty. Lots of stories <laughs> to tell for sure. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's interesting because there's different ways to meet people, right? You could be referred by someone. You could do online dating. Uh, might be happenstance. Or you could work with a matchmaker, which I think is really exciting. Now, I've never done that. Have you ever done it? I actually did. I worked with an organization. I don't even know if they're still in business. Um, it's just lunch, I think. Oh, you know what? I did a long, long time. Oh, that was that didn't go so well. It didn't go well for me either. So I'm not going to say anything yeah. about the organization. So let's just move on. Yeah. So we have some incredible guests with us today, Janice and Carly Spindel, and they are serious matchmakers. These ladies do not play around. They do not waste time. They have clients for whom I understand they they travel the globe before COVID trying to find the perfect partner. And they're also responsible for over 4,000 marriages since 1993. That's remarkable. I I mean, remarkable. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. I mean, you know, I was married once and it lasted for, it seemed like six seconds, but it was six years. So (laughs) <laughs> so Link, let me ask you a question. Are you interested in meeting someone? Yeah, I am. But it but it has to be the right person. I, like I can keep my own company and I'm very comfortable with my own company and my lifestyle, my profession. So all, all those stars need to align in a way that I just know they do because you know when they're not, right? You can sense it. Very so true. It'd be great, but no urgency. Um Sure. It's, it's so, a lot of coupled up. I mean, I, I'm pretty partner oriented anyway, but I do think it's important for any single to learn to keep their own company successfully before they're really viable to keep the company of a partner. Because if you if you don't like your own time together with yourself, then then how can someone else, you know? That's very true. And we've talked before that, you know, before getting in a relationship with someone, you need to make sure that you clean up any messes that you might have out there, right? Old old business, clean up old business before new, whether that's financial messes, legalities, um, occupational hazards, uh, matters with children. Of course, issues will evolve, that's normal, but certain ones are better resolved before moving into another relationship. It's it's not not an essential, but it's, it's, it's recommended. I agree. 
And of course, we're gonna hear from Janice and Carly about what they found that men are looking for and, and what women are looking for, but what's Lisa looking for in a, in a mate? You know, I'm, a, I'm kind of a, a center-brained person. I'm just as comfortable in the land of creativity and the land of logic. So, but, and I need both. So I, I, being a, a hybrid of opposites makes me a little, I think, uh, an unusual fit. Meaning I'm, I, I raise my kids alone. I'm accomplished in my profession. I'm articulate, but I can hang in a blue collar world really comfortably. And I can hang with PhDs just as well. So I like um, somebody who's pretty agile in social circles, uh, professional ones, who's smart, and somebody who's going to push my envelope a little bit, you know, without, of course, respectfully, without pushing too far, but just knowing when to say yes, no, you know, you know what I mean, right? I do, and then that's up to you to, to set the boundaries, right? I have no problem doing that. <laughs> So we've got uh, we've got a message here from somebody on Twitch. It's just lunch expanded to the bad boy image and rebranded as it's just lunch dine and dash edition. <laughs> so. oh. Oh, <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. There. We, now we know what happened to them. Yeah. So. Uh, so it's interesting. So have you done any online dating, Lisa? I've done plenty of that. In fact, I you know you know I had a, a radio show for a couple of years where I joined. A whole bunch of sites and my my co-host and I we tracked my stories and there were numerous ones we also taught people how to date safely and to recognize scammers and how to be authentic and without sh being showy uh, we I wrote profiles which was kind of fun so yeah I've done it and um, it's been a generally successful experience because I've met people who I otherwise would not have met had I not been online and, and you've done it too right Yes, I definitely have done it over the years, and I've met a lot of interesting people. I met people who were not anything like what they said they were, or they didn't look like their picture. But all in all, um, even though I had to call Match.com and speak to somebody three levels up <laughs> to cancel my membership and get uh -oh. my money, which is another story. But uh, yeah, so I have done it. And again, I have met some really nice people, some very interesting people. So I can't wait to bring Janice and Carly out. We're actually gonna take a commercial break now so we can get them out here. And we'd love for you to call in with questions. The number to call is 631-730-5468. And just like our friend from Twitch, thank you for for watching, by the way, put a comment and please send us your comments. I'm sure Carly and, and Janice want to hear what your questions are. So we're going to take a, a quick break. We'll be back. And when we come back, we're going to have Janice and Carly Spindell with us. And it's going to be a great show. So stay with us here on Wrapping with Dr. Jacqueline, live on Business Talk Radio and social media. Hey, everybody. My name is Ralph Graves, Jr. I'm the host of the Ralph Graves, Jr. Show, and I want to invite you to pick up my book, Unstoppable. I wrote a book called Unstoppable. It's, it's seven universal laws that will transform how you pursue and achieve success. The one thing that my 20 years of law enforcement has taught me is that no matter who you are, we are all governed by universal laws like gravity. But in this book, we're going to talk about laws like the law of forgiveness, laws like the law of control, the law of intelligent practice, the law of expectancy. I was able to see how those, no matter what their background was, those who, who identified and, and treated these laws with respect, they were able to go on and lead successful lives. So pick up this book and you can go ahead and pick it up at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, RalphGravesJr.com, where, um, anywhere where fine books are sold. Thank you. There are 7.7 .7 billion people on Earth today. 40% of these people are under the age of 25. Young adults are the most fertile mission field in the world today. In scripture, we see Jesus pouring his life into 12 young adults who he equipped to change the world and all of history. Like Jesus, we believe that the best approach to reach the world with the gospel is to invest in young emerging leaders and equip them to build disciple-making movements. Concentric is the notion of surrounding and sharing a common center. Our center is the model and strategy of Jesus for both leadership development and ministry formation. As a global alliance, we provide equipping in biblical leadership based on Jesus' example in the New Testament. 
Jesus modeled for us how to make disciples that reproduce. Focusing on leadership development is key to creating movements that spread the gospel and Jesus' disciple-making strategy to young leaders around the globe. Our Ministry Alliance partners are actively equipping leaders and building movements of multiplication that reproduce the life of Christ. Join us today to equip young leaders with Jesus' strategy that will change cities and nations. The session that we had with BCAT was really entertaining and enlightening. We were able to put together some very specific steps that we as individuals can take and it was really fun to all come together and see sort of where we're going as a team and how we can all get there together. We had a tremendous experience with the BCAT partners. One of the challenges that we have as an organization is to make sure that we have the right people in the right chairs doing the right thing. To do that well, you have to have synergy. You can try to dream up ways to make sure that your group does that, or you can rely on experts. We would recommend BCAP Partners to anybody who's looking to take their organization to the next level. Academy Sedan and Limo is a full-service transportation company serving the Philadelphia metropolitan area with full knowledge of the New York City, Baltimore, and Washington, D.C. areas. We pride ourselves on being the most dependable, conscientious company in the industry. Our always on-time service and dependable pricing make us the company to call for any event or occasion. Our vehicles can accommodate any size party for any occasion. Our vehicles range from four-door sedans to SUVs to minivans to limo buses to full-size tour buses and can accommodate groups of two to 100. We offer airport shuttle service or over-the-road service without limitation regarding mileage or time and no drive is too long or too far. So if you find yourself in need of transportation of any type with any vehicle, give us a call at 610-842-4564 and let us show you what a real transportation company can do for you. Use code ACADEMY2020 to receive 20% off your first three rides, including parking and tolls. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The most listened to radio show on the planet. Even the other stations are tuned in too. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Welcome back to Wrapping with Dr. Jacqueline live here on Business Talk Radio and Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and LinkedIn. My co-host is Lisa Maniocchi. Lisa, good to see you. Thanks for staying around during the break. Yeah. And before we bring our guests out, I just we got a comment to you, so I just wanted to read it. Lisa, you are fantastic. So true. You can be in touch with anyone from blue collar to PhD. You are so authentic. Thank you so much for writing in. That's beautiful. That's really nice. That's Sweet. Really nice. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Without further ado, live from New York, it's Janice and Carly Spindell. Good to see you. Welcome. Hey. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having us. Thanks so much it's for having us on. It's such a thrill to have mm -hmm. you. You are the experts when it comes to matchmaking. And uh, I just, um, I feel it's like it's my birthday or something. Christmas, it's just such a special occasion. <laughs> comment on what both of you said, just to set the, straight, the facts straight. IGL is a dating service. We're matchmakers. So there's Got a very it. big difference between It's Just Lunch, which is a worldwide or at least US-wide franchise of dating. Mm -hmm services. Mm. So it's about dates. We're not about dates. We're about potential husbands. We are matchmakers. Men that and we come are to us. Very... Oh, go ahead. Men that come to us want it all. They want a committed relationship that leads towards marriage. And so so men are coming to you. Mm. 
Interesting. Wow. I, so I wasn't aware that um, obviously there's a big difference between a dating site and a matchmaking service. So that's thank you for clarifying that. And we're the Rolls Royce of matchmaking. So we are the real deal. I've been an icon in the industry for 30 years. So I'm, we're not newbies at this, to say the least. And you forgot, yes, over 4,000 couples married, but lots and lots and lots of babies. Oh, <laughs> How did we get into we this? We lost count over the years. Oh my gosh. So, yes, yeah, so we'd love to know how did you get started with this 30 years ago or more? Uh, $64,000 question. Carly loves me answering it. It could go on for six hours, so I'll make it short. Basically, I have an uncanny sixth sense that I am. A people person, I talk to people wherever I go, and I can sit across the table from a man, and within 15 to 40 minutes, I can tell him by name who he's going to marry and what his type is. And Carly developed the same uncanny, clairvoyant sixth sense, and she joined me about 11 or 12 years ago. Wow. Oh, my goodness. You just know. You just have the lay the land that quickly. Everybody has a passion and everybody has something that they're really good at. I've been gifted with the gift of gab and gifted with an uncanny sixth sense from my 105 year old grandmother that then went down to my mother and then came down to me and it's a gift. So I was able to be a brilliant entrepreneur a very long time ago and turn a passion into a dream that turned into an empire. And the best part of it was is bringing my daughter in the business with me. So how is that working with your daughter? Is it wonderful? I asked my daughter, Carly. <laughs> it is wonderful. We're obviously not in the same place right now. I don't know if that was um, obvious from our decor, um, but pre-COVID, you know, when there were no travel restrictions, um, you know, we had so much fun. We would obviously meet everybody in person. My goodness, we met tons and tons of women every single day in person. Obviously, we'd meet our clients in person as well. We would be at different breakfast, lunches, and dinners all the time, and we would jet all around the world. Um, now, because of COVID, we've done things more virtually, which is still definitely rewarding and amazing. Um, but I think we, as I'm sure everyone does, miss the in-person aspects of everything. So uh, we have a lot of fun, yes. And you know, we spend a lot of time with our clients, even if it's over Zoom, to really get to know them, find out what they're looking for, what makes them happy, you know, who the perfect woman who enriches their lives might be. And then we leave the rest up to chemistry and the universe. It certainly sounds fantastic. I would love working with my mom and bringing people together for a, a connection that you know could be lifelong. And you know, traveling around, talking to people, just sounds so phenomenal. So I'm really happy for both of you and the fact that you're able to bring people together like that. I mean, what what else could be more rewarding than bringing people together to share love and, and a relationship? It's very and very satisfying when you get a Christmas card from somebody in Paris with a picture that they wouldn't be together if it wasn't for, for you or somebody that's in an Uber in the Bahamas calling you, how did you do this? I don't understand. And it's pretty mind boggling. And we love what we do and we do what we want to do when we want to do it because I could never work for a corporation. I've always been an entrepreneur. And it's what's What's better than traveling all over the world with a man paying for it with your daughter? It's a five-star place. <laughs> and we've met so many amazing women with different stories, you know, in every country. Again, it's been a little while since COVID. Um, but every country and every city we've gone to, you know, we meet so many inspiring, really just mind-boggling women. And it's great to hear their stories. And if they're a match for our clients, then they get introduced. So Janice and Carly, is there a specific type of person who will come to you? In other words, um, are your, your clients are men, I would assume, and then you look for women for the men? Uh, or maybe, um, so it's, it's men or your clients, and then do they have to have a certain income bracket or a certain net worth? 
So the men are our clients. They range from 27, believe it or not, to 83. And he's the easiest out of everybody. Um, they're all over the world. We don't really care about their income bracket or their net worth. I think that's actually a very tacky, unprofessional question to ask. And we would never ask that. You know, what we ask is our fees are not chopped liver. They're a small price to pay to be happy for the rest of your life. But as long as the men can afford us, and more important than that, as long as we like them, they're a gentleman and they're a nice person, and we think that they're realistic with their expectations of what they're looking for, and they're smart, and they're kind, and they're generous, and they're fun, and they're awesome guys, then we take them on as a client. We're very boutique -y. we're not a factory, and we're very hands-on, so we select the men that we decide to take on as a client. Not every man, I don't care how much money he has. You know, you can't pay us just because you might be rich. You can't pay us to take us on, take you on. If there's a character flaw or just something that rubs us the wrong way, we walk away. And we also work very in depth with them, you know, whether it's Friday night, we're on the phone with them or early Saturday morning, as Jenna said, it's super important that we like them. That way they're nice people, you know, they'll make a great boyfriend, a great husband, a great partner, and they have a lot to offer to the relationship. Well, without so what I, what's sorry, that? one of the processes, again, pre-COVID, um, that we do with the men, as Carly said, is normally the men go through a screening process on the phone first by calling the office. If they're interested, whether they got referred by a friend or they read something or saw us on a talk show or whatever, they call the office or they fill out the application. Usually public people won't fill out the application. They'll have their assistant call the office. And they speak with me and they sort of go through a screening process over the phone. If, in fact, I think that they are an appropriate potential client, then under normal circumstances, which now it's the new norm, we would set up what's called a simulated date. And basically, that is what we love to do. Part of the test is the restaurant they pick, how they treat us, how they treat the waiter. Do they have eye contact? Are they on their phones? Do they get up when we go to the bathroom? Are they trying to order for us? Are they drinking too much? Do they smoke? You know, we're judging them. We're actually out on a date with them. And now, obviously, our hands are a little bit tied. We don't feel comfortable going to restaurants indoors, and it's getting a little nippy out to go to restaurants outdoors. And so back to March, you know, we started taking everything virtual. And so far it's been working, you know, we had to get creative, but it's very strange. Carly and I are both, both very visual, hands-on people. And I mean, we've had five and a half to seven hour dates where we literally have had the best time laughing hysterically. We were in um, Nashville with a hotter than hotter than hotter than hot guy in his 40s. And he's ripped to another level with a six pack, if not an eight pack. And we went to Restoration Hardware for lunch and we had the best time. He never saw people eat like us. And we ordered this cookie platter and the cookie, no exaggeration, was this big. We didn't know whether to order one or order three. And Carly and I both have an appetite that we're not embarrassed of. And we ordered three, right? If I remember correctly, and if I tell you, we laughed so hard eating the three of us eating this big, huge cookie. I think there might have been an ice cream sandwich in it. And he said, oh, my God, I don't eat this kind of stuff. And we just had fun. You know, he's you really get to know someone when their guard is down. And part of what we do when we travel to obviously cities as we're based in New York, not in New York, is we see men in their element, whether it's, you know, ATVing on their property or checking out a restoration hardware and shoving our face with ice cream sandwich cookies. Um, you know, when we go to different cities or states that the clients are in, we get to know them in their backyard. And it's fun to see their favorite restaurant, uh, you know, their favorite store, their favorite anything. So it kind of paints a bigger picture of who they are. We went to an apple farm on the outskirts of Massachusetts and Carly and I were driving around in a big, red, shiny new tractor picking apples. I mean, we have a blast. 
And when men are in their own environment at their home, a man's home is his castle, and it tells us a lot about him. Is he OCD? You know, is his closet by color? Does he have one of those big watch boxes with 20 watches in it that go spinning around to keep the batteries going? Is he neat? Is he sloppy? You know, does he have a housekeeper living in? Does he have a cook? I mean, you know, we're really getting to know who they are in their environment, and there's nothing that will stop them from finding them the perfect wife. It's very exciting. Uh, we actually have a caller and uh, we've got Allie from Las Vegas on the line with us. Allie, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi. Hi. Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, you know, I, I have a question. Um, well, I have a lot of questions. And, I, you know, <laughs> one of them is about when you get to the age of 65 and you look younger and you feel younger and you're in shape and, and you have a successful business and, um, you know, you're a go-getter in that respect. Um, you can take care of yourself and travel the world. Um, when you meet guys that are my age, uh, I mean, there's so many that are very, very desperate for a relationship. And on top of that, they're not in shape. There are guys that have a lot of money and they throw that at you like that's going to move me. It's not. Uh, the desperation is horrible at this age. And so I, I find myself thinking, should I lie about my age? I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to put, you know, on the, on the online profile, you know, 55, 50, because people do think I look like that. No, I just want to be honest, but I'm telling you that the, the pickings are slim. So do you have suggestions? The question is, do you have suggestions about women that are my age? Because I have friends that are in very good shape as well. And, you know, we're saying, well, I don't know. This is as good as it gets. Maybe we, we're not meant to have someone late in life. Well, my suggestion to you is, first of all, it's a known fact that women lie about their age and their weight online and men lie about their age and their height. So it's one thing to lie and then it's another thing to tell a very small white lie so you can search different fields for your age. And then in your bio, the first thing you should say is the truth. Mm. So most yeah. of the people that lie, I know why the men lie, is because mm -hmm. if a man is in his 60s and he put that online, for example, on Match, the fields that they have are not going to search what they're looking for, which is obviously the 40s. You know, in my book, age is just a number. Mine happens to be unlisted. So it's all about how people take care of themselves. You know, there are a lot of women that we meet that are in their 30s that Carly says to me, oh, mom, she has horrible skin. She looks like she's 50. And then there are women in their 50s that never sat in the sun that have beautiful, flawless skin that look younger. And we do deal with people that lead a healthy lifestyle and they take care of their bodies, both men and women. So we hope that people are in shape and eat healthy and that they do look younger. But as we tell men and women, your age on your passport and your driver's license sadly is not changing. So, so I think to summarize what Janice is saying, we never encourage you to lie about your age, but if you're on the apps or online dating and you write that your main age is let's say 50 or 55, then as Janice was saying in your bio, you write, I'm really 60 something, um, but everyone tells me I look very young and obviously I act young. That way you'd be you know, meeting the men that are a little bit younger. And then after you have a dialogue with them, again, once they're super clear on your real age, then if you decide to meet, then you know that kind of widens your chances as well. And it also doesn't you know, enlighten you to have trust issues because you know when people lie, about their age or whatever something else the bottom line is is people say oh no what else is she lying about and you don't want people to think that yeah that's exactly right you know i just met this guy out here just moved to las vegas i met an attractive man uh he lied about his age he said he's 57 and then when i was having lunch with one of the girls in the community she said he's not 57 i said well 
what do you what are you saying? She said, Well look him up on Facebook. He's sixty seven. Very like, common. Oh, why did he why did he do that? I think he did that because he thought I was like fifty or fifty something. And you know, it was hilarious. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, you know he was uh, worried about me. I was worried about him. Um, and I didn't tell him my age, you know, I didn't, I didn't say, I thought, oh, you know, I'm probably older than you, you know? Uh, and, and he said, no, you're not. And I, I said, well, how old are you? 57. I said, oh, okay. And I just kept my mouth shut. So the fact that he lied about his age, does that mean you were uninterested? I'm sorry. When you, when you said, how old are you? Did he say, did you say 57 or 67? He said, he said five seven. So he lied. So he lied to your face. And he lied again. He lied. Yeah, and and uh and and then the, the person in the community that introduced me said he's not fifty seven. He's well. I said, well, how old is he? And we looked it up on Facebook. She said, there you go, nineteen fifty three. I said, oh, what you should have done is FYI. When I had a girlfriend a long, 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 long time ago um, online, and she was meeting, ironically, one of the men that I knew who was in the database. I was in San Francisco. She woke me up at the crack of dawn. I was at a hotel, and she started telling me about this do this guy, and he's Harvard, and he's six foot one, and blah, 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 blah. And then she said he was 40 something. And I said, Is his name Mark? And she said, Yes, you know him? I said, He's not in his 40s. And I said, you know, you're going to expect men will lie. And another guy will said- will always lie and you can always find out the truth. So yeah. that's why we don't encourage lying. Really we encourage lie. just increasing your chances online, um, but then always being honest. That way you're not a liar. When he said he was 57, if you knew at that time he was 10 years older, you could have made one of two jokes. You could have said- I'm sorry, can you tell me how you lost 10 years? Because I'd love to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's, and you make, that's you make a joke out of it. And then, you know, hopefully he will, if you call him on it, hopefully he'll say, yes, I'm really 67, but, you know, I don't want to meet somebody older, blah, blah, blah. And then you, in turn, can also open up and say, well, I'm not 55, I'm actually 65. You know, look, what we suggested is what you should do, is that you say whatever you want to say in your bio, but don't lie 10 years. That's really pushing you. If you're saying you're 55 and you're 65, you know, if you're 65 and say you're 59 or something, you know, just to get into the right field, but be prepared that 30% of the people that are online are married. Women lie about their age and their weight, and men lie about their age and their height. They're proven factors. This is really good discussion. In the last one, Allie, Allie, I'm sorry. We have to take a break and hear from our sponsors. So um, I do have a question for you. If you can hang on, uh, we'll be right back after this break. Stay with oh, us. Okay, I'm good, girl. Okay. Located at 121 Haddon Avenue in Westmont, New Jersey, is Margie Cedrone, artisan jeweler. Margie's been in business for more than 30 years. She works with her clients to create custom pieces of jewelry to reflect their personality and help them make their own bold statement. Starting in the renowned Jewelers Row in Center City, Philadelphia in 1988, Margie works directly with her clients to develop one-of-a-kind pieces such as necklaces, engagement rings, wedding bands, unique watches and tennis bracelets, as well as a myriad of rings and earrings for everyone in your family. She also has worked directly with Dr. Jacqueline over the years creating unique pieces of jewelry to reflect her personality. She does pearl stringing and repairs on site at 121 Haddon Avenue. Call or text Margie at 215-384-7155. Margie Sajone Jewelry is open by appointment only. Make your own bold statement. RVN TV is a platform for people of any industry to share their story. Over 285,000 viewers are tuning in to RVN TV shows monthly. We guarantee a great experience that you'll be sharing with everyone you know while increasing your personal and company's brand awareness. 
But what is your brand? According to Forbes, it's a combination of your logo, your product, your design and feel, and your personality. Did you know that aside from being a guest, we offer even more opportunity to boost your brand? Adding your company logo and website on screen during your interview will allow viewers to recognize your brand instantly. Incorporating images and video clips is another great way to showcase your product during your live segment. Let viewers see how good you really are. And most importantly, there's you and your interview. For less than the cost of a newspaper, direct mail, or a magazine ad, you can leave our studio and within 48 hours have a permanent digital copy of your live segment to link to your social media, embed into your company website, or use in email marketing. Investing in your brand is so very important, and we can't wait to have you as a guest. My name is Ashley Owens. I am your personal networking concierge, and I host a show on RVN TV called Connect to Success, where I interview power networkers in the greater Philadelphia and South Jersey area. So join me every week, 1230 on Thursdays during your lunch break, and now on Fridays at 9 and 930 p.m. We'll see you next week. You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. Today's show is sponsored by Dr. Jacqueline. Take charge of your life personally, financially, and professionally. Visit drjacqueline.com to book an appointment today. Well, we're back here on Wrapping with Dr. Jacqueline, live here on Business Talk Radio and social media. And we actually have Janice and Carly Spindel, along with my co-host, Lisa Maniocchi, and we've got Allie from Las Vegas. Allie, thanks for staying on the line. I wanted to ask you, have you ever used a matchmaking service? Um, I, I used one out of Chicago called Selective Search. They did absolutely nothing. Um, it, it was like a, you know, just, you know, futile attempt in filling out everything and sending fabulous pictures in and someone did interview me in Philadelphia, but you know, um, when I lived there, so, you know, I, I never pursued anything further. So I'm interested, uh, going back to Janice and to Carly, what's the process like for uh, a woman who's interested in applying? Probably I'll take that. Janice, are you taking this? Oh, okay. Um, we like to say that we are very different. Our clients pay very high fees to find, um, you know, for us to find exactly the woman that they're looking for. So we totally separate ourselves from the other matchmaking services by having women um, pay a one-time automated application fee. So their first step is to go online, submit a bunch of questions and photos, and they pay an automated application fee. And Janice is the approver. Janice is the approver. I was getting to that. Um, so if they get approved, then their next step is to have a meeting. And obviously the point of the meeting is to get a better sense of them, their personality, see if they could be for any of our clients, see if they actually look like their pictures, make sure they didn't lie about their age, as that's super common. We ask them about 10,000 questions. And we um, charge them a one-time non-refundable consultation fee because it kind of puts the men's mind at ease to know that they have skin in the game, they've committed to the meeting, and they have a vested interest as well. So that gives them more insight into the one. So we don't deal with gold diggers. And because of the handsome fees of the men, the men's fees start for the most part at 125,000, they go up to 1.5 million. If they're local in New York, then they start at 65,000. But most of our captains of industries and Fords and Fortune 500 billionaires pay us obviously the latter more expensive fees. And they wanna make sure that the women are not gold diggers. So our process does us from the Chicago companies, the LA companies, the other New York companies. My God. Et cetera, et cetera. 
it's, it's a very competitive business out there and there are over 1500 dating services you know we like to think because we've proved it multiple times that we're the real deal and we're the rolls royce or the bentley of matchmaking so we do have a process for women and ali if you go to the website janicefindelmatchmaker.com and you click on women even though women have selective reading um, it will give you the entire process, but I do explain it approximately 25 times a day because women don't understand it. But we just deal with men as clients. They're the ones that retain us for our services. Women are members, and once they do their uh, in-person, which is obviously now a virtual meeting, then they become a lifetime member. And if and only if they fit the profile of what any of our men clients are looking for, would a match actually happen? It can happen in a minute. It can happen in a month. You know, we just got a new guy and we're looking for women in Boston, Rhode Island. And I called a half a dozen women yesterday and I hadn't seen some of them. I think we met in 2019 or early 2020. We never had a match for them and now we do. There's totally no rhyme or reason. Women don't understand. They can be beautiful, smart, successful, have everything going for them and just not be a match for the clients. So um, as Jenna said, they have selective hearing um, or selective reading. But we always like everyone to know that you are in the library of our mind forever. And you can literally be a match, as Jenna said, three, four, five years, two years later. Sometimes women will get married and divorce and they'll come back to us. And then, you know, they'll meet us again and within a few weeks they can be a match there's no rhyme or reason and a lot of the time those women are one and done their first introduction <laughs> is their last there's no need for women to email us weekly oh so here's a new picture of me do you have anyone i haven't heard about you I haven't heard. you know what by you showing us that you're needy and you nag is negative not a positive because we also judge the women. And the last thing that men want is a drama queen or a woman that's needy and annoying. Very we have an amazing well database. And it, our database keeps track of everyone. Obviously, we could never keep track of, you know, hundreds of thousands of women in our head. Um, so the whole point of our database is so we stay very organized, obviously. So women are always top of mind. They're never forgotten. And we think about them all the time. So we have to say goodbye to Allie. Thank you for calling in. Thanks for your questions. And we wish you the best well, thank you. uh, you're with your future and, and meeting someone. Good luck. Bye. Thank you so much. I, I unplugged the phone and it's still ringing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Allie is leaving us for now. Um, and Janice and Carly, if you could just, uh, for the folks who are on Radio Land, they didn't get to see the contact information, but it's your website, which is JaniceSpindellMatchmaker.com is the best way to get in touch with you. Yes. Women click on women, men click on men. I think that all the answers are right right there step by step by step and if you actually read them you know <laughs> it's pretty easy to understand but there's not a day that goes by where i'm not screaming at somebody that they didn't understand we tried to make it very seamless so it makes sense in our head i saw it i thought it was pretty easy to understand i don't know that's because you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you have a really thorough process that you've honed over the years. And obviously, it's your, what you're doing is very successful. So uh, that should give people out there in radio land and social media land the confidence to, to go ahead to JaniceSpindellMatchmaker.com if you're a woman and and apply. Do So what do men do? Do they go to the, I know you on your website, they can go there. Uh, so for any man who's watching, who wants to get in touch with you, is that also the best way to go to your website? Well, it's the best way to do his due diligence on who we are and obviously what our fees are, because we're not a dating service. Um, and we do strive a very definitive target market, you know, notwithstanding the fact that we're not all over the place in terms of what men do and what industry they're in. But, you know, they have to be able to afford us. And I've had few, but enough calls that they were just not for us. 
And so, you know, we like to save people the time and the agony of going through the process and then finding out that that's not in their budget or their price range. So usually the phone number of the New York office is on there. And, you know, usually if they'll call, I'll call them back pretty quickly and take it from there. So what is it that men are looking for? Well, it's pretty simple. All men, no matter where they are in the world and no matter what age they are, and no matter what they look like, are all looking for the same thing. And I've coined it as the four B's, which is pretty simple. It's beauty, brains, body, and balance. So men are visual and they are superficial and shallow. And we're the first person to tell them that, but we're just the messenger. They want a woman that they are attracted to. And of course, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder but they want someone beautiful inside and out. You know, they want a sweet woman, they want a feminine woman, they want a lady, they want someone classy, they want someone who's going to bring something to the relationship and enhance the life they already have. They want smart, they want someone that leads a healthy lifestyle, that takes care of their body, and they want someone that has a balanced life. So, you know, they're able to juggle work, family, kids, life, men, relationships. They need a balance. They need someone that on a Saturday night, if they're going to a medical gala, not now, obviously, or if they're going to a hedge fund gala, they can put on that little black dress with all the jewelry that he gave her. And whether it's Louboutin shoes or whatever else she's wearing, and she's getting her hair blown out and her makeup done. But Sunday morning, he wants to go to a baseball game or a hike, and she can roll out of bed throw her hair in a ponytail and be ready in five minutes. That's what we call balance. But the number one thing that we're seeing in addition to obviously the long list that Jenna said um, is very sweet. You know, all men, whether they are sharks in business and more laid back in their personal life, they really appreciate a sweet, kind woman who, you know, shows that she cares from little gestures. Men really appreciate, let's say, you've been on three dates and the man pays, you know, three out of three times. They really love if you do something nice on the fourth time, whether it's bringing them, uh, you know, their favorite book that they've mentioned or a bottle of alcohol they like or planning the date, you know, whether it's expensive or not. If money's tight, then you can always suggest, hey, you know, you've been so generous and treated me to three lovely dates. Can we go on a hike and I'll plan it? And, you know, something to show initiative and show that you are sweet and kind and thoughtful because those are qualities that men love in addition to all the superficial stuff. It's actually in my books and we do suggest it in our process when we sort of give women the rules and the suggestions once they are matched. It really blows a man away and it's not about the money at all. Even if you go to the movies and you get there early and pick up the tickets. I can't even begin to tell you how impressed the man will be because I've had Carly and I have both had more men say, you know what really irked me about her? We've been going out for seven months and not once, not once did she go into her wallet. I don't need her to go into her wallet, but she never went into her wallet. Let's we're going for ice cream. Let her buy the ice cream. Little or just you cook, you buy the groceries. Um, you know, it's bothered so many men. She never paid for coffee, or just little things that, as Janice said, it's not about the money. It's just about the thought to show. It's not take, take, take. She can also give. That's that's exactly how men look at it. They want to see that the thought process of her is not all about, as Carly said, take, 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 take. It's the gesture of doing something that is out of the box and out of the ordinary. I can vouch for that because I've run into that. I, I always at a certain point offer and little things, you're right, they go a very, very long way. They sure do. Yep. So we have a comment here, Facebook comment, beauty, the one that shines from inside, <laughs> brains, body, balance, like love this. Thanks for sharing this, Janice. It's great insight for me to serve my clients. It's very interesting. This woman actually just sent me a message on, on either LinkedIn or, I think it was LinkedIn. And I had no idea who she was. That's really funny. She literally just sent me a message. She's a photographer. Oh, yeah, how about that? Yeah, interesting. Uh, well, she's, uh, she's one, out there. 
Well, one thing you. that um, we are doing, it's not public um, knowledge yet, but shortly it will be. Um, we have, I should say, Carly came up with something many, many years ago that she beta tested, and it took off like a bat out of hell, as the expression goes. And we have now tweaked it a little because we switched hosts with our website, and we now have more... What's the word? More whatever the computer technology the is. Bandwidth? Uh, no, it's, um, I'm blanking out on the word. The, the new host that we have is um, only for matchmaking. And there is ways of what men and women, we're trying, in, in, with COVID, we're trying to realize and help and be creative of how more women, since there's 2 million more single women out there than there are men, and we're sick and tired of hearing, oh my God, how do you not have a match for me? No, <laughs> we can bring the to water. We, I mean, I get emails from beautiful women every day of the week. How can you not have a match? You know, there's only a certain amount of men out there, and if they don't hire us, then we don't work for them. So we came up with something that's sort of a cross bid, cross hybrid, what hybrid? A hybrid um, between the apps, online dating, and personal one-on-one -on -one matchmaking. Um, and it's something that Carly developed, as I said, many years ago. And we're testing it in New York and Los Angeles, and it is a lot less expensive. Um, we are not involved as much as with personal one-on-one -on -one matchmaking, but for those men that are in the five to ten thousand dollar price range budget. Um, we will be able to provide an unbelievable way for them to meet the same unbelievably astronomical, amazing women that we pride ourselves on the quality and the integrity of those women. They have all four Bs. We just won't be introducing you. You'll sort of be doing it yourself. So Janice, <laughs> is it... Stay tuned for the knowledge on Flash Match. That, that's really interesting. Would you say that there's some element of artificial intelligence that's in, no. So no, you- It's you elevated, actually, it's elevated online dating. Okay, interesting. Um, and elevated. So so can you keep the scammers out of that then since you're running it? Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. Because yeah. the scammers are- It's only people are, in our, it's only people in our database. Perfect. So okay. they've been Excellent. screened and vetted. And all the women have been met with and all the women have been vetted. And the men will be vetted because that, again, is what separates us from all the wannabes out there. So, so how do you address the chemistry question? Um, do you think that chemistry needs to be there immediately or have you observed in all your years that it can grow after a period of time? Both. Chemistry is an intangible that nobody can account for. For men, visual, they fall in love through their eyes. So they have to be attracted to a woman in order to have physical chemistry. We've fixed up women on a bazillion blind dates in the day for four to six hours. And then we talk to the guy because we obviously get feedback after. And uh, how was it? How was it? How was it? You know, she thinks you're, you're the one that well, this is it. And he's like, no, I'm not calling her again. And it's like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> we, did, uh, we had the best conversation ever. She's brilliant. We had intellectual chemistry, but I'm not physically attracted to her. And you would think that if he had intellectual chemistry and you had a five-hour date and you had a really good time, you would think, think that he would go out for a second date. No, 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 no. He's a man and he falls in love through his eyes. So if she could possibly have been, she might have been overweight, she might have been this, she might have been that, she might have been too tall, too short, not a blonde, not a brunette. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And obviously, yeah. you know, men are more visual than women, so they can't change that. But I will tell you something that drives me absolutely nuts. Um, Janice and I are both well-wishers. We wish, you know, well for every people, every people not proper English, for every man and woman. Um, I do believe in karma, and I think that you have to treat everyone you meet as if you know they're a very yeah. nice person and you give them a chance. Um, and nothing that drives me crazier than when women won and done a man, whether it's through us or through the apps. Obviously, we know more about it when it's through us. Um, but to answer your question in the beginning, I think with women, chemistry can absolutely grow. First dates are awkward. you know. You might have had a bad day. You might have been stuck in your house all day, especially with COVID. You know, you may not be in the best mind frame. So we always say go on three dates. 
the first date, the second date, and the third date, and then make your decision after the third date. And I just think it is so mean to men when women go out with him one time and say, sorry, I'm not interested. I mean, he could be your husband, and if you don't give him a chance, you wouldn't know. So we really try to institute the three-date policy. Um, that way you're giving someone a chance, and you're also giving them the benefit of the doubt as well. Because so many times when we have encouraged someone to go on more than one date, you know, the chemistry may not be there on the first date. Then they say on the second date, oh, we had the best time. It wasn't awkward. All the awkward silences were gone. And then by the third date, you know, they're on their way to a mini relationship. So three dates. So it drives Carly crazy, and I agree. Because yeah. first dates, you know, look, it could be snowing, you couldn't get a cab, it could be pouring, you broke a shoe, had a bad day at work, you just never know. So we make them go out, I make them go out again. And if the second date's better than the first, then I make them go out on the third date. And it's very simple, if they don't listen to me, you're done. You're done, sorry, you're done. You know, it's we're sort of good cop, bad cop. It, it drives Carly crazy, but sometimes she won't push. Sometimes I'll get on the phone and push. And I love nothing more, nothing more than being able to give women, and I told you so. Because they are. They're, you wonder why you're single at 35 and fabulous? You're so judgmental. Like, who do you think you are that you're not going out with them again? That's rude. Rude. And that's a lot of the reasons of why people are single. They're not open-minded. They don't give people a chance. You know, the tall, dark, handsome guys that you have lust with on a first date, it's probably going to crash and burn. You know, sometimes if someone's not really hot, but he's an awesome guy and he's handsome and he's in good shape and he's smart and successful and generous and kind and the whole package, good grief. Give the man a second <laughs> chance. Like, what is wrong with you? That's how I handle it with the women. But I get a little bit testier, but I'm not going to do that on air. Do you make recommendations uh, based on what you know about the, the gentleman? Do you make a recommendation on what type of date they should arrange, or do you leave it all to them? No, all we do the man. Captains of industries. That's we we're not we don't get involved with that. Okay. You know, we will get involved with women about what they're wearing um, or something to that effect, um, depending on where they're going. But no, we don't get involved with the, the men and the women. Both don't get the, the last name. The women don't get anything other than 10 adjectives and know that the men have been had a background check on them. We've been to their homes and it's a vetted blind date, as Carly calls it. Um, but the men, they're on their own. We've had they're big boys. They can plan their own dates. Um, if the woman does need help with ideas or, you know, she wants to be thoughtful and bring him again, a book, a card, something, plan a date. We're super happy to help with that. Uh, but we don't do date planning. What about health? Do you check for the health health issues? You know, Lisa, many, 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 many years ago, 30 to be exact, I used to do that and make them go for tests. At this stage of the game, no. I think it's invasive. And I think with most of the men that we deal with because of Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan, whatever companies they work for, they already went through all kinds of testing. And you know what? Like Carly said, they're big boys and big girls. Use your brain. It's it's in our contract that you don't have any STDs, and if you do, you have to initial and disclose it to us and disclose it to the women. Um, mm -hmm. So that's you know kind of our way of putting that under the rug. No, it's smart. You're not babysitters. I mean, you're matchmakers. There's a difference. So yeah, you're dealing with hopefully grown adults who are behaving correctly. Exactly. The question mm -hmm. that I have, just going back to what we were talking about right before this, and we're coming to the end of our hour, which I can't believe, but when you have this three date rule, I'm curious if the, the man or the woman, and I'm not saying in your matchmaking capacity, but I'm saying just in dating in general, if someone mm -hmm. demonstrates behavior that's really inappropriate, do you still give them another chance and go out with them a second time? No. Well, first and foremost, we screen the men. As we said, we go out on simulated dates. So we're not doing any inappropriate behavior because we wouldn't take him on. And don't think we haven't had stories. <laughs> we could tell you that we've gone <laughs> out of restaurants. Um, but, you know, have women sometimes drank a little too much? Yes. Um, this is about all men in general, Jen. It's not our clients dating in general. Yeah. Right. Just in.
general. So if they, I feel like I have a saying, if, if you show me who you are, I'm going to believe you. So if I meet you for 10 or 15 minutes and you have your hands all over me and I don't even know you, I'm sorry, but that's it. No. Yeah. Red flag, red flag. Yeah. Okay. Or, well, you know, you put your foot down. It's like, dude, hands off. Sorry. You can look at the menu, but you can't order. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you ask me the number one thing that a man is looking for in a woman, literally the number one thing worldwide, I bet neither one of you can answer it. And I'm going to give you an opportunity. Lisa and Jacqueline, what is the number one thing a man is looking for in a woman? Authenticity. Next, Lisa. Listening. Next. Usually people don't know the answer because you didn't read my book. So the answer to that question is confidence. Men want women, listen up, ladies. Men want women that exude confidence. But I love it. Such a turn on. Everything else comes after. There is nothing sexier to a man in a woman than intelligence and confidence. And I'm talking unbelievable men. Unbelievable men. When a billionaire says, oh, wow, she was so smart. It was so sexy. She was so confident, like she runs the world. That's a big turn on to a man. So women should look out that last mirror before they're leaving to go out on a date. And they should feel like a million dollars. And if they don't, don't walk out the door, postpone the date. So just look in that mirror and go, damn, I look good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the attitude of you look good, you feel good, and it's gonna be a great date. And if any guy says you're intimidating, then they are not the right guy. Exactly. Because exactly. I that. So, well, that's a great way to close out our show. Janice and Carly, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you on the program. So much fun. And thank we'll, you. We'll stay in touch with you. And maybe next year, after you launch this other uh, platform, you'll come back and share with us uh, how that's going. And, and so, that would be uh, wonderful. Flying high by next year. <laughs> so, once again, let's just give out your contact information. Uh, Janice and Carly Spindell, serious matchmaking, and it's Janice Spindell Matchmaker.com. J A N I S S P I N D E L Matchmaker. So please reach out to Janice and Carly and uh, go to their website and learn more. Thank you, ladies. We will thank you for having us. Thanks so much for having us. Nice having to meet you both. Thank you. Nice Bye. meeting you. Nice Bye. meeting you. We'll see you backstage in one minute. Okay. Um, Lisa, what a great show. We learned so much. Once again, it's all about confidence. Yeah, and I think their information was comforting because it doesn't sound like there has to be anything crazy tactical in order to meet somebody who's ideal for you, you know? Yes, yes. And I think you have to be open to it as well. And yep. um, I, I was able to speak with Janice uh, before our interview. And, you know, sometimes even though you might have all the confidence and you might have um, – things that men are looking for, you might be open. It might not be the right time. It might not be the right time in your life because yep. of life circumstances. So uh, so I think that's probably why they, uh, Janice and Carly, they have everybody, uh, I guess, in a mental Rolodex and they reach out to them over time when it is the right time. Yeah, well, they've been doing it a long time. Yeah. So I, I knew of her reputation, so. Yes, yes. That's great. So it's a pleasure. Lisa, I'll yeah. see you backstage in a moment and you can reach Lisa at presenceintelligence.com. Lisa is also the Wednesday host of yes. Morning Coffee on RVN TV. That's rvntv.tv. Uh, RVN TV is going onto the Roku platform in January. So that's very exciting too. It is exciting. Yes, it is. So good luck with that. I'll see you backstage, Lisa. All righty. Thank you so much. See ya. Bye. And to those of you out there watching us on Business Talk Radio listening and watching on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and also Twitch, thank you so much for your loyalty. Uh, we really appreciate it. We work hard to bring you interesting and authentic guests, and we really do appreciate you calling in and, and your comments. It means a lot. If you're interested in being a guest on any one of our programs, we have our Wednesday business show program. We also have the dating program. And then on Fridays, we have two programs. The first one are Stories of Hope, Inspiration, and Overcoming Adversity. 
And then the next one is a variety show, which could be really about anything. So stay, stay tuned with us on Wrapping with Dr. Jacqueline. We will be live streaming on Business Talk Radio. Studio 6 is Wrapping with Dr. Jacqueline all day and all night. So thanks again. And thank you to Chris in, uh, biz, in uh, Business Talk Radio land. He is the one who brings us onto the airwaves. And we really appreciate everything that you do, Chris. So thanks again. We'll see you again soon. Hi, everyone. I'm Mindy Thomas, founder of Thomas Career Consulting. If you are dealing with the stress of having been terminated or being laid off, considering a career change, or you simply cannot land a job with your current resume, you came to the right place. My professional expertise centers on being trained in two distinct areas, career counseling and career marketing. I am also the host of Career Chat, a weekly talk show, which appears on RVN TV. My end game is helping you to overcome the self-doubt, the fear, and the other barriers you are facing right now in a very tricky, perplexing, and complicated job market. Six point five seconds. That's how much time it takes a recruiter to scan your resume. On top of that, electronic applicant tracking systems may reject you even if you have the skills, education, and experience. I teach you how to win when you absolutely have to. My resume writing practice is built on a personalized, collaborative, and strategic approach that showcases your accomplishments in a way to get you noticed. At the center of my strategy is identifying your strengths and targeted keywords to make you stand out from the competition. As a professional resume writer, I know what it takes to impress even the most discriminating hiring manager.